Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, thanks to a very good friend of mine who was willing to brave the crowds at D23, ended up seventh in line on the second day and was able to get me four of the 17 inch dolls that released. Uh, we are going to take a look at Merida from Disney Pixar's Brave. This is of course for her uh, anniversary this year. And oh my gosh, guys, this doll's amazing. So stay tuned as we look at her box, which is very different from normal boxes. We take a look at the doll. We, I'm not deboxing. I don't debox D23 dolls, FYI. Eye, but we will definitely take a look at all of her details so stay tuned all right so um just full disclosure on this one i did have charlie pick up for the four 17 inch dolls because uh, he was graciously um willing to do so however two of them are not for me two of them are so that i could help a friend out so merida and then um, and then jasmine are actually not staying with me guys as much as i love them they will be going to new homes um but graciously the people that are getting them both said i could do a review before i send them on their merry way so excited that i can at least bring them to you can show you their details um but yes yeah, so merida um she and also the reason i'm okay with this these are the d23 variant uh so that means we will be getting a general release so like i said i'm happy to pay it forward people have helped me i love helping people i will just grab the general release so first things first these boxes are insane 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 so of course unfortunately they've brought these flapping front covers disney please stop this just please that's all i'm going to say about it um to these extra large boxes and on that disney please 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 stop that too please go back to the normal size boxes collectors we don't have room for stuff like this especially like me my wall is full my other wall is full and just so you can get an idea of how crazy and crazy crazy these boxes are i'm going to show you here so here's merida's box okay and i'm going to put a regular release box up next to it. Look at the size difference. There's Kita. There's Merida. So if I move them a little bit. My Mickey fell down the other day, guys. Sorry. <laughs> if I do it this way, you'll see. These boxes are huge. There is no need for these boxes to be this big. Yes, I know that uh, Merida has the three bear brothers with her and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. <laughs> like, this is just absolutely asinine. Um, let me get my camera back on the stand here. Um, these boxes are massive, like way too big. Um, I really hope that Disney does not continue to do these massive boxes. I just, I can't. <laughs> Anyhow, that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at them here. Um, I really can't hold that and do the same thing at once, so I'm just going to move, move in a little closer here. Um, we do have these the really cool um, Celtic knots here. Got some little gems, the 6 Plus, the Disney Pixar Brave, Merida, limited edition of 1,000. I love the Celtic knot going around. The D23, and this is what I was talking about, guys. There it says D23 Variation. Okay, so we will be getting a regular release Merida. On the back here, you can see it does say Disney Pixar Brave. You can pause and read it there if you'd like. Certificate of Authenticity and Stand Included, and they did up the price once again. They were $159.99 a couple years ago. They were $129 before that, I believe, or even maybe $119, I can't remember which. Um, they just keep upping the price every dang year. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, but it is what it is. They, of course, since they are the flaps, if you open them up, you can see here the certificate of authenticity is in the um, pocket here. Not showing that because both of them asked to be surprised by the certificate of authenticity. So I can't tell you what number I got. Sorry, guys. Uh, but it does have this really pretty gold gilded um, inner looking like to it um, with more of that knot. And then, of course, we have Merida. We have the Brave 10 year anniversary logo there, which is OK. I mean, I would have preferred some artwork instead of just a picture from the movie, but Hey, it is what it is. Now, the way that these work, um, it's very similar to the Cinderella that just released last year for the parks. Um, this part slides, like if you open up, it slides back and then the inner part slides forward. There is a dust cover, but it's only on the outer box. So once again, Disney, ugh, come on. <laughs> like, hmm. anyhow, so let me go ahead and get her out real quick. So I have Merida out of her outer box now. This is going to be a tough one, guys, because whenever they use velvet, and I really wish they wouldn't, cameras just don't pick it up well. It ends up washing out everything. 
So I apologize in advance. She's gonna turn white a thousand times because my camera and everybody else's camera that I know cannot focus on velvet. Like it just does not work. <clears throat> it all depends on lighting. And no matter how good your lighting is, it just washes them out. So, um, so if you see, yep, yeah, see, there it goes. <laughs> you keep having to refocus it and refocus it. Back under the box is beautiful. It's the wood scene <clears throat> from in the movie. I have to apologize, guys. My throat, I feel like I'm like dying on choking on something. Um, but it is really, really nice. Very similar to the background we had on the designer Merida. She does come with her three brothers, which I think this is going to be for the D23 variant of her only. <clears throat> um, we shall see. And then there's this like little card like this. Good Lord, this kind of was like, what is that? Um, just a little cardboard cutout of some rocks and grass. I don't, I don't know. They've, they've done a stone before for Pua on Moana's doll. I really wish they could have done something similar for the bears, but maybe it's just due to weight restrictions. I don't know, <clears throat> but yeah, okay. So whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm trying. It's just my throat is clogging today. Um, but to Merida herself, Merida is about a 16 inch doll. She does have rooted red hair. Once again, we don't have true Merida hair. Um, I really wish one of these days they would give Merida the hair that she deserves. And that is the mother Gothel hair. I mean, if you look at Merida in the movies, yes, it's ringlets, but it is frizzy, frizzy, frizzy ringlets. And I really, really wish we would get that one of these days. Um, her hair is pretty. Don't get me wrong. I just, it's not Merida's hair. So, you know, it is what it is. So we have these very heavily product, um, ringlets here in the back on the sides. There's a ton of braids going on here. You can see there, there's a bunch. That's another thing people have said that maybe the <clears throat> general release variant doesn't have as many braids, which that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. You can see kind of scattered through with the braids. We have these gorgeous little gold cufflink type things going on um, that of course are like the um, tie for the braids. Very nice touch, very good detail. We do have a new face mold. The original um, Merida is up there. If you guys want, I might do a comparison video before I send this one on her merry way. Um, It'd be kind of fun, I guess, to see uh, the differences because I know there are some, but there's some serious similarities too. <laughs> but anyhow, so she does have blue green eyes, um, kind of like an orange red, kind of a ginger color, um, eyebrows, pale lipstick. She has freckles scattered all over her face and on her chest, which I thought was a nice touch. Um, she does have a cape, which I have a good feeling the uh, Disney store version of it or shop Disney version of it will not have the cape very similar to uh, D23 and regular release Vanessa D23 had a cape the regular one didn't so we shall see here soon I'm sure guys the cape does go all the way down kind of a dark black blue velvet on the outside of it and then that blue green um, inner lining kind of call it Merido green um because I've never really seen it. it's like a forest green but more I don't even know how to describe it um on the inside for the lining, it is really, really nice. I do like her cape quite a bit. Um, I bet, I bet the box is dolls amazing. I can guarantee it, but anyhow, we're not doing that. So to her dress, so she does have a leather lined collar that has a V portion in here. Um, and in that V is this gorgeous pleated gold fabric. There's some chain work going um, all along the edge here that goes all the way down to the V. And it's, it actually might be threading. Yeah, it's threading. Um, you can see here on her, if I kind of pull this back, she has leather cuffs and that same gold material on her sleeves. I love her arm protector. Uh, there was a little metal portion there, the leather. Really, really uh, a massive attention to detail here, guys. The beadwork and the chain work on her dress is amazing. You can see there she's got three little bear claws, some plastic beads, the embroidery, the gem work is really, really, really well done. She has a leather braided belt and then a leather braided cord that holds her arrow quiver, which I think is really nice. The quiver itself is actually like a like a plastic, or not plastic, excuse me, pleather material um, with some embroidery here at the bottom, embroidery at the top. The amulet that she wears in the movie is of course attached to that cord. The ends of the cord have these pretty little metal um, cuffs and then there's two faceted blue, like briolette style um, gems, which I think is really nice. Three arrows. Very detailed, very similar to the one she has on the regular release from years ago. The bow also looks to be the same, which is another reason why I might do a comparison just to kind of see how much of this they reused. <laughs> but again, if it's been made once and it works, why do it again new? So, you know, if you still got the mold, why not reuse it, right? She has a dark green, Merida green uh, skirt. And then the skirt is um, lined or cuffed, I guess I should say, with this really beautiful um, embroidered portion here. 
It's a pleather material then of course with gold and like a more gold looking colored embroidery of bear motifs. And then there's blue gems for the eyes and then just gold gems kind of scattered. And then of course this piping that goes on the top and the bottom. So a beautiful, 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 beautiful dress. They really did do a good, just a fantastic job on her outfit. Our shoes guys, I will see if I can find, I mean, I can't really get in there. It's, it's tough. They're weird, I know that. I don't want to tip her. Um, they're like little loaf loafer type shoes, um, but they look like they're, I don't know how to describe them. They, they've got like a little texture to them. They're very strange. Not what I would have pictured for Merida, but hey, they work, so yeah. But anyhow, there is, and if she would stop washing out, good gracious, uh, there is Merida from the D23 convention. This is the D23 variant. We will be getting a general store or a general release here soon. Um, make sure to follow my, um, Instagram guys as I do try to post when the um, you know releases are I cannot get her to focus oh I hate velvet I hate velvet I hate velvet um, I will of course post when we know more about the general release so that you guys can kind of keep up there and see what's going on but yeah there is the beautiful Merida from D23 2022 all right you guys well, I hope you enjoyed um, I will have three more videos coming of course, I'll have Jasmine, Snow White, and Giselle, so do stay tuned for those. Um, I will try and get those done here over the next few days. It's just going to take some time because I've got to work this into my work schedule and other things that I have got going on. It just takes a little bit of time to do so. So do stay tuned as more to come. If you guys enjoyed or if you have Merida or if you have questions about Merida, leave those in the questions and comments down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, Again, you know, with the rising costs of everything, it doesn't surprise me that the doll price went up at D23 again. I, I kind of figured they would. Um, I'm still kind of surprised that Giselle was the same price as the other three, though. I will say that right now, just by looking at Giselle, her style of box, how big she is, I am shocked she was $179.99, just like the rest of the releases. So, except for, of course, the Herc set, which I did not get. But that's okay, too. I'm not really into the designer lines anymore. I don't want short dolls. I want tall dolls. <laughs> um... But anyhow, yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments down below, guys. Um, if you have any questions about anything else on my channel, leave those down below. I will get to you as soon as I possibly can. It is picking up crazy here at work and just everything else going on. Like I said, it's, it's, it's busy, busy, busy right now. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.